Thank you everyone for being here this afternoon in this special place in this tremendous city of Lowell, Massachusetts. Uh, my name is Meg Smith. Um, I served on the board of Lowell Celebrates Kerouac with my late husband Lawrence Caradini. And I would like to actually share with you a poem that he wrote. Um, as organized as Larry was, I found that as I was going through some of his papers, it was a whole manuscript for a new poetry book that he was working on shortly before he died, which was in 2014. And this poem I thought was really fitting uh, for this afternoon and this year's festival in particular. And by the way, we've been talking about a lot of milestones and anniversaries, um, and I realized I have one myself because the first year I got involved with Lowell Celebrates Kerouac, um, which uh, one of our friends who's now in the Constellation of Heaven, Allen Ginsberg, was there. And that was 1992. So Lowell Celebrates Kerouac and I go back a ways. So it's been 30 years, 30 tremendous years that this festival has been a part of my life and brought so many friends um, and wonderful people and experiences into my life one of them being Larry. And this is his poem. It's called, There's a Glimmer in Me. There's a glimmer in me that dreams of green, emerald sharp, mossy bush, grasses tall with green. So distant, from fire engine red, stinging honeybees, blue lights flashing, emergency, and the already dangerous night. I would have time to sleep in green. Green money would burn holes in my pockets. Only green parrots and alligator crossings would distract from a life separate and free from the wide awakenings of red, yellow, yellow, and blue. There is a glimmer in me that dreams of green, bright Kelly thickets of green, lime green, tropical plantations, forest green, REM restorations, glimmers in me, dream of the green within. Florence Caradini, thank you so much for listening. Of course, I just want to say I want to give um, a special shout out to David Amram um, and the wonderful David Amram Ensemble. And I know that there's been many and everybody's been great at giving them praise. They almost can't be praised enough. But David, I just want to say, because I've known David since 1994, um, you are truly a star that brings the star out in all of us so that we all shine. And I'm so deeply grateful to you for your friendship and for all that you do and all that you give to us. So please um, give the whole wonderful David on and them ensemble. And as I've been mentioning this weekend, the Lowell Celebrates Kerouac Festival, all the amazing volunteers who have been doing everything to make this festival possible. That's what makes the festival go. And if you love the festival, 
Um, there's so many ways to get involved, to help out, to support the festival through volunteering. Of course, there's merchandise back there. Um, take a look and um, as was mentioned, also please check out David's merch if you will. But Lowell celebrates Kerouac.org. Please visit the website and think about what you'd like to do to bring to the festival, to make it and keep it going strong. And now last, before I go, I wanted to leave you with a quick song for all of our travels, wherever we may go. And as David, David and I said, we've been rehearsing for years, just with different people. Okay. Can you all hear? Can we all hear her? Can we all hear her? Wonderful! Okay. Because I can shout. <laughs> all right. So, well, I hope you can all hear this from me to you. This is an Irish song, and I am Irish. It's called The Parting Glass. For all the money that ever I spent I spent it in good company And all the harm that ever I've done Unless it was to none but still in the festival and please be safe and happy and joyous wherever your travels may take you on the road. Thank you. Next kid, ladies and gentlemen.